I love having salad, a nice fresh salad for springtime events. And today I'm going to show you one of my favorite salads and I'll tell you why it's a favorite. I've already mixed a lot of my salad ingredients in a bowl. It's been covered and it's been in the refrigerator for two days already. That's one of the things I love about this salad. The mixings all hold up well to refrigeration. They don't get limp because what I've got here is cabbage, green cabbage. I've got red cabbage that I've just sliced really, really thin. And I've got some sliced carrots, some sliced green pepper, and some green onions. I mix those up and then I just put those in the fridge so this salad is ready to go when I'm ready to eat or to take it along to an event. Another thing I've done ahead of time is toast some sliced almonds. I like to toast sliced almonds on the stove in a pan with just maybe a teaspoon of oil. I used coconut oil this time and just stir it over medium heat until they start to turn golden brown and then immediately transfer them to a plate so that they stop cooking. You don't want them to get too dark and bitter. So this you can do days ahead too. Just keep them in a jar and they'll be great. What I'm going to do now is mix up the dressing and your friends are going to love this dressing because there's not one bit of fat involved. Uh, it has kind of an Asian flair to it. I'm going to start with three tablespoons of tamari and I use tamari because it's a gluten-free soy sauce but you can use regular soy sauce too. And then I'm going to add three tablespoons of rice vinegar and rice vinegar is just very mild, a little bit sweet but it's still that acid that you need in a good dressing. I'm going to add a little sweetener and that is a tablespoon of honey. And I've already minced up three cloves of garlic and a little bit of ginger. Today I'm using dried ginger powder and I'm going to use about half a teaspoon. So I'm going to use the zest which is just the colored part of the skin. I'm going to grate that right into my salad dressing and then I'm going to use the juice. But I have to zest it first before I can put the juice in. Oh, and one other thing I forgot, I like to add a little bit of spice. This is sriracha. It's vinegar and hot peppers, and I probably will add about a teaspoon. It's optional. If you don't want that little bit of spice, you don't have to add that. So in goes the lime juice, and then I'll just mix it up. So there you have it, the most totable and the most delicious salad you'll ever have. I'm Sue Doden, sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.